Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to pass multiple eval values as parameter to JavaScript function in ASP.NET. Before moving ahead, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. So let's start. We'll start by adding a grid view control. Now I am adding columns to the grid view. I will be adding three bond fill columns, customer ID, name and country. Now our grid view is ready. Let's move to the code behind. Now I'm adding a namespace system.data. I'll be making use of dynamic data table to populate the grid view. Now inside the page load event handler, I am writing the if not is post back condition. Now first I am creating a data table object. Now I am adding columns to the data table. It will be same columns what we have already defined in the grid view. Now I'm adding some rows to the data table. The grid view can also be populated from database, but in this example, it is not a requirement and hence I'm making use of a dynamic data table. Now the rows have been added. Now I'll assign the data table to the grid view and call the data bind method. The population part of the grid view is completed. Now let's run the code and see the grid view. So it is working perfectly and the grid view is displaying data from the dynamic data table. Now let's move back to the ASPX page where we will continue writing our second part which is displaying the grid view row details using javascript in javascript alert message box so first i am creating a template field column inside this template field column i will be adding a button this button will be used to display the grid view details in javascript alert message box
Since we want to call a JavaScript function, I am making use of on client click event handler. As you can see, I am making use of inline server tags. And inside the inline server tags, I am writing the string.format function. The string.format function is used when you want to replace a particular section of a string with some value. Let's say in this case, I'll be making use of three placeholders, one for each column, ID, name and country. And these placeholders will be replaced by the actual value of the ID, name and country for each row at runtime. Here the values of the ID, name and country are being passed as parameter to the view details JavaScript function, which we'll be creating later. So basically what will happen is that when someone clicks on this button, the view details JavaScript function will be called and it will accept the three column values, ID, name and country. And then inside this function, the values of the three parameters, ID, name and country will be displayed in JavaScript alert message box. So here the placeholder values will be replaced with the actual values of the columns. I'm making use of eval function for that purpose. So now we are reaching the final part where I'll be writing a JavaScript function. The JavaScript function will be, as we already know, view details. So here you can see the view details function is accepting exactly three parameters, customer ID, name and country. Now I am saving the values of the customer ID, name and country parameters inside a variable message. Now you will notice the use of slash n, which is the new line character. Actually, I am using it to display all the three values that is customer ID name and country in three different lines in the alert message box. Finally, the message variable is passed to the alert function and the function is ended using the line return false so that when the button is clicked, there is no postback. So our coding part is ready. Let's run the code and check it. As you can see, the grid view is displaying the buttons. And when I click on the button, the grid view row details are displayed in JavaScript alert message box. So with this, we come to the end of this video. The source code and demo links are available in the description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. See you soon.